Hello, Wallace Middle School Colts and our Kern River Valley families. This is Mrs. Bogart coming to you straight from the backyard of Corona University. Today's Stam at Home lesson is about chromatography, which is separating pigments according to size. For today's experiment, I'm just using a cup. You could use a glass. You also need just a smidgen of water, so I have it here. I'm using a paper towel, and you could use any type of paper towel. It does not matter the brand. And I'm just going to cut a section about as wide as large as my cup. So I'm just going to cut that. Save that for later. Um, and then I have a bunch of different markers here, a bunch of different colors. And what you're going to do is you're going to take several markers, whatever colors you have, and you're just going to make some dots on top of each other, maybe like three or four times. You're going to leave about an inch from the bottom of your paper towel. So like three or four dots. And you're gonna put different colors in different locations. So here, I'm just gonna do three colors because that's about as wide as my paper towel is. Um, and then, oh, the yellow is pretty. Um, and it does not matter what kind or brand of marker you have. In fact, it makes it more interesting if you have like several different brands. So here I have like some old Expos and some Crayolas preferred by teachers. So uh, you're going to take your paper towel and I'm just winding it around a pencil and I'm really doing that just so that it like hangs. You don't really need a pencil and you can use whatever you have to do that. You can even tape it if you have it. You want the bottom edge of your paper towel to just hit the bottom of your cup and you have just a little bit of water inside your cup and if not you can pour a little bit of water inside of there. And as you watch, you're going to notice that the water is going to move by capillary action up your paper towel. And then you're going to see that the pigments that are in your marker are actually going to move. And you're going to find out that perhaps maybe your markers have different colors in them than you thought. Maybe you have hidden colors. Now, the pigments that move the highest are the smallest pigments because those are defying gravity the most. And the pigments that stay low are your heaviest pigments. So give this a try at home and tell me how it turns out. 